it's Friday and Labor Day weekend, and hopefully you guys all have fun plans for the weekend. Uh, I'll be here at Wine Exchange, uh, which is a fun place, you know, it was, it's kind of a Disneyland for adults. Uh, but anyways, today we're here to talk about uh, Le Pure. And this is a little secret little chateau kind of deal, you know, because it's, it's, it's small. You know, they, they have uh, maybe 15 acres and, and 19 plots within those 15 acres. So it's kind of it's kind of a tapestry, but it's a tapestry uh, basically around the chateau. I mean, essentially, it's kind of surrounded by Trottevie, Trappe uh Pavie McCann, Le Plot, Pavie. So it's got like some pretty high profile neighbors. Um, but what's really cool about this little chateau is that um, when you when you go into the, the village of Saint Emilion it's a one-way street as you go up the little cobblestone and then if you want to go back down to the base of Saint Emilion you have to go around and you go around this little one-way kind of windy road back down to the bottom and it passes by Le Priore and I was always like curious about this chateau in my 25 years of going to Bordeaux but we really never saw it that much, you know? And it wasn't really until the Artemis Group, which owns Chateau Latour, uh, Claude Tart, Isley Vineyard, Jacqueline Champagne, amongst, you know, others, um, bought the property in 2017. And not only did they buy Priore, but they also, from the owners, bought uh, uh, Rai Croix de Gay and Chateau Syriac in Lalonde de Pomerol. Rai Croix de Gay is in Pomerol. So anyway, after they bought the property, they brought on uh, somebody that was working at Chateau Latour and really was instrumental in bringing Chateau Latour into Bionamics. Uh, her name is uh, Penelope Godefrey, and she was the one who Basically, Artemis gave over the reins at Le Priore. And so being the fact that Le Priore was already farming organically and moving to bio biodynamically, it was a great fit basically for, for all of them. So, um, so essentially we have two vintages here. We have 2018, which was a 96 point Antonio Galloni wine. Uh, and it was a 95 point decanter uh, when Jane Anson was writing for them. And then we also have the 2020, which was also a 96 point Antonio Galloni wine and a 95 point uh, Neil Martin wine, both from uh, Venice. Uh, the vineyards of, of uh, uh, Priore are 75% uh, Merlot, 25% Cabernet Franc. And when they did, they did a replanting uh, by the previous owners back in the late 90s, uh, they really restructured the vineyards and, and really added more Cabernet Franc, which is kind of the theme for most uh, estates in the right bank, uh, especially in St. Emilion, let's just say. These blends are about 80, 20, 80, a little, little higher on the Merlot and 20% Cabernet Franc. Uh, again, both are exquisite wines and and these um are in that kind of like that new wave of fright bank wines where where you're getting more of the ethereal kind of lighter handed lower alcohol uh higher fresher acidity uh they're 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 really um kind of doing a burgundian type of feel and 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 kind of the structure to the wines you know they're 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 pretty they're they're uh but they but they got base notes you know so you have all these layers and then you still have that punch so which makes you know white bordeaux is so great with all kinds of food especially ta uh, kyle's beef taquitos that he's eating right now um but unfortunately, he won't get any because we don't have that much. <laughs> and so I, that's why I'm not opening the bottles, but I have tasted the wines before because I've been very curious after they got in bottle. And, and so it's, we have a double play, they're very limited. We don't have a bunch. Um, 
But hey, you know, I mean, if it's good enough for Artemis, and now in 2020, the the company, the the bank, Sauvignon, uh, it's basically a, a group, and you know, they have a bank, and they're rich people. They actually bought this from Artemis, so and and they own Colon Skur. So you can see the pedigree here is very high, and not the price though. And that's what's really great about these wines. For when you think about their neighbors and what their neighbors are selling for, these are half that. So you know what to do. And have a great weekend. Like and subscribe. Uh, and start following us. We're on TikTok now. Ciao.